Hello you guys, it's your girl Denise Simone, back with another video. Yes, I have on the same clothes from my last video because I'm trying to film at least two or three videos today. But for this video, I'm just going to be answering questions for young moms. I'll be inserting the prayer of the day on the screen so you can um, pause the video and then continue to watch the video. But make sure you screenshot the prayer today or say your prayer today before yeah just say it okay but yeah i'm only gonna be answering like five to ten questions because i have so many so i'm just gonna make it into separate videos so the um first question is how does it feel raising two kids y'all being a mother period to one child two three four it being a mother has to be one of the hardest jobs ever and like i'm young so i'm still like i'm still learning about life while trying to teach my kids about life like we growing up together so raising two kids not one but two is like so hard like i'm still young i be wanting to go out and stuff and do stuff like i really can't do that but it's harder when you have two kids because you're gonna have to find somebody to babysit two kids not one you're gonna have to find somebody to keep both of them kids like raising two kids is just diapers meal all of that stuff start to add up and zayla she still she's probably training but she still wear her diapers like over the night or throughout the day if we going out somewhere so like diapers for two kids like that is a lot of money y'all and it's just the food milk bills all that just starts to add up so raising two kids is hard like i will wait till you stable oh and yes like when you can't get your kid whatever they they want especially if not financially stable and stuff like that they have to be like one of the worst things ever because like sometimes that really will crush your spirit like sometimes they look up in a store asking for one little thing not like one little toy that's four five hundred dollars and it just it sometimes it just crush, crush my spirit because i just can't up and buy you no toy that's four or five hundred dollars so i just you know i would wait till i'm financially i will tell you to wait till you financially stable and you know got it got it good so just go off and have kids so yeah raising two kids is hard and it makes me feel tired a lot it can get overwhelming and yeah um what to put on a baby registry? Um, I would put diapers and wipes. You can put like blankets, bibs, bottles, pacifiers. I'm trying to think what else. Um, you can put like a bassinet. Um, what else? Burp cloths. I'm trying to think of what some more stuff. books definitely put books on there so you can like read to your baby and stuff socks i'm gonna insert my baby registry don't nobody gonna buy nothing else off that registry i'm just gonna insert it so that you can um be able to go back and see all the things that i inserted on my baby register hardest thing about pregnancy i feel like the hardest thing about pregnancy is just all of the hormones like you can see a dog commercial and you'll just start crying like i was just so emotional my pregnancy and you know if you don't have somebody like i don't know if you don't have a good support system it's gonna be so hard and you know you're gonna have to go through it by yourself and it's gonna it's gonna be hard and i feel like all the body changes like you growing so fast nausea morning sickness like pregnancy is just too much honestly um how should i tell my baby father i'm pregnant girl are you scared to tell him you pregnant but you open your legs for him let me stop because i was kind of scared to tell tales um pregnant was a hobby but um usually like you can send him a little text message um i'm pregnant 
Like, you just need to tell this man you're pregnant. Or, like, if you want to be all cute and stuff, you can, like, put the little pregnancy test and a little gift. Like, give him all his little favorite things and just have a little pregnancy test up in there. So, when he go through it, yeah, that little pregnancy test going to stand out. It's definitely going to stand out. <laughs> Oh, let me see what other kind of way you could tell him. Like, you could just scrape up tell him, like, or you could have it sitting on the nightstand or sitting in his car or something like that. Yeah. I mean, you can't be scared. You weren't scared enough to lay down with him. Um, the first week home with a circumcised baby. Y'all, I did not know what I was doing when, when Zahavi was, like, circum... The thing was all... I did not know what I was doing and like I was so scared to touch it like I was so scared to put the Vaseline on it because I didn't know if it was gonna burn or how it was gonna make him feel so I was scared when I was doing it I'm gonna say be extra careful be gentle like and make sure you fold the diaper don't put it too hard on top of like when you let me let me try to figure out what I'm trying to say When you put his diaper on, put the little, they're going to give you some gauze. Put the gauze on top of his wee-wee and then put the diaper on him. Make sure you put a gauze up on him. Oh, my baby will stay, my baby was woman and stays up all night. What can I do to help him sleep? So, baby, you take that baby in the bathroom, get him a nice warm bath. I'm telling y'all. Zahabi, I put Zahabi in the shower with me. As soon as that water hit Zahabi, Zahabi be knocked out, knocked out cold. So I would say put him, take him a nice little warm bath or take him a nice warm shower with you and then have him a warm bottle made. Put some little, wait, you said one month so he can't have oatmeal. So yeah, just have him a nice warm bottle made, wore up some calming baby lotion on him, some melatonin um, oil, rub it all on his body, get him all feeling good and stuff, relax. You can have some little um, music playing in the background, gospel will help, have that playing and yeah, rock him to sleep, make sure he all burped and full, and lay that baby right down, he gonna go scrape to sleep. And another thing, when Zahabi was like around one month and whatever, Zahabi used to, I used to let Zahabi sleep all throughout the day, so when nighttime came, he would be up all night long. So I would say try to get him like on a schedule, have him stand up throughout the day as much as he can, and then maybe he will sleep during the night. Um, um, I'm doing soon. Did you tear? And if so, did it hurt? So, I didn't tear with Zahavi, but I tore with Zayla, and it did hurt. They're gonna give you the spray. I'm gonna keep it, I'm gonna post a picture of it, but they're gonna give you the spray. You can make, gotta make sure you keep yourself clean, make sure they're gonna give you those little squeezy water bottle thing. I'm going to insert a piece of that too. Just squeeze it down there. And right after you get out of the shower, use the bathroom. Spray that, that, that little spray down there. And it's going to help a lot. Put some little ice pads. You know the little things that you like crack and it get instantly cold. Make sure you just keep that down there. And it'll help with the tearing and the swelling and stuff like that. But yeah, it did hurt. And I think... I couldn't I couldn't walk that well for like a week or two. But if you like keep the spray down there and keep the little ice pack, then it'll help a lot. It'll help a lot. Um, how do I handle me time and not feel guilty about it? Um, I used to feel so guilty about having me time like oh I used to feel so wrong, but baby, you gotta Sometimes you got to put yourself first because if you don't have that me time, if you don't get your rest and you get out, be all aggravated and stressed out, you're going to start to take it out on your baby. You're going to start taking it out on everybody around you. So make sure you just got to think about your baby too. When you get in me time, you relaxing, you you just getting your, refreshing yourself. So don't feel bad about it because it's going to be benefits for the baby too. When you have your baby after your me time you ain't gonna be all stressed out or aggravated with your baby so think think about stuff like that when you having me time um how do you deal with jealousy 
if you're talking about like jealousy like with Zayla and Zahavi um I was so scared that Zayla was gonna be jealous of Zahavi but she wasn't like she got the back she was holding Javi and Rakim Zayla loves Zahavi so much so I, I really don't have no tips for that because Zayla have never been like jealous of Zahavi at all I thought she would but she wasn't and y'all gotta stop right here because I gotta turn my air on I'm about to faint Oh, God, it's hot. The things I do for y'all. I just need to cool it out for one thing. Okay, that should be good enough. Um, how should I tell my mom? So when I was pregnant with Zayla, I had my grandmother tell my mom for me. So I would have like, if you have any aunts or grandmother and you like you trust them and they understand it, I would tell them and I'm like, can you tell my mom for me? So they can tell your mom for you and with Zahavi, like I'm at this point I'm grown. I gotta I just gotta do what I gotta do. I just gotta tell my mom I laid down and got pregnant again, so I gotta tell them. I would you know, just straight up tell her, like text so it's gonna hurt her now, but you just if things happen. I text my mom, I was like, Mom, I know I hurt you, I know this gonna hurt you, but I'm pregnant and I'm having a boy. He do December the twentieth. Like sometimes you just gotta be grown about the situation and just tell him like that baby gonna be here soon. So you might as well. Um, you can write her a letter. You can text her like I said, or have somebody call her, call her, tell her. You know that's what I did. I don't know any other way. Cause if you if you like young and pregnant, I wouldn't try to surprise my mama like giving her a gift or something like that. Cause you might get <laughs> no. Nah, you just gotta be grown about the situation. Um, do you stick to a routine or take the day as it comes? So recently, I have been trying to make a routine because when I was just going with the flow of the day, I wasn't getting nothing done, making no videos doing no schoolwork, nothing so i would definitely like make a routine like i try to have zaylin zahavi up around eight or nine the first thing we do when they wake up change their pampers get zayla dressed get javi dressed then they both eat their breakfast then we go outside and i started this routine like when i stopped when i was officially done with school so that's why school not gonna be included into what i'm saying but yeah, after they eat their food and stuff, we'll go outside for a little while. Then it'll be time for their nap time. Come back in, get them all fed, and then we'll do whatever I had planned for the day. And then at 9 o'clock, it's time I start getting them ready for bed. And by 10 o'clock, 10 or 10.15, 10, they'll be asleep. So I have to, whenever I get ready to go to sleep, I have that time to myself to just meditate or just think about the day or, you know, just do what I got to do. Or it'll, it'll be easier if you, like, wake up earlier than they do and you can take your shower by yourself and, you know, do this and that. Because with my routine, sometimes I don't be able to take a bath in the morning. So try to make a something that, like, you know, something that works well for you. Do that. Mm. Um, did you get the epidural with both of your kids? Yes, I got an epidural with the, both of them, but with the hobby, I really did not think that epidural would work. If you didn't watch my story time before this video, make sure you go watch it. 
how to deal with postpartum depression. Y'all, I had postpartum depression so bad with Zayla. Honestly, you just, you gotta, you gotta just block any negativity out, honestly. If a person is making you feel bad or just treating you any kind of way, you just gonna have to block that person out and you just, you just gonna have to do what you do because people having that negativity negativity in your life after you have a baby you will start believing it you will start feeling so sorry for yourself it's just having postpartum depression is all bad constantly constantly listen to your gospel constantly worship god and you got to constantly have faith and pray that is what got me through postpartum depression and you know you gotta sometimes you gotta like get up get up out of the bed like you you know you're gonna be depressed now but you just gonna have to get up move around you know clean up you know go take you a good bath soak in the tub put some some salt roses and stuff you know you gotta do stuff to make yourself feel good do your hair get your nails and toes done you gotta do stuff to make yourself feel good pray and you know cut any negativity out of your life you have to you got to you have to you have to and you just gotta constantly pray literally constantly pray um did you have to get stitches i got stitches with zayla i didn't tear with sahabi i'm gonna try to find one more question baby hair growth tips oh uh, if anybody have baby hair growth tip, tips make sure you leave them down below but with zayla both of my babies they hair shedding shed so bad as the hobby hair is shedding so bad but with zayla um my mom actually got zayla hair growing back for me like um she would put it up in the little rubber bands and stuff and we'll keep it greased up and stuff but when her hair started falling out real real bad you just gotta let put the rubber bands in and don't put it too tight and don't just keep messing in the baby head because that's just gonna make it come out worse so you just gotta let the baby head be the hair the hair is gonna ball but the hair is gonna grow back it's gonna go back so long strong and beautiful like don't get discouraged because your baby head ball because it's a hobby head look like an old man right now but i know my baby gonna have a head full of hair so I'm just letting his hair be. And if it's a little boy, um, when he, like, when his hair still not growing back, you can, like, get his hair cut. Because I feel like that's what I'm going to do with the hobby. But for right now, since he only six months, I'm just going to let my baby hair fall out. Or, and you know what else you can do? Get silk pillowcases or get um baby girl silk bunny or the baby boy silk little durag or he can wear a little bunny too but other than that just let his hair her hair be just let it be it's gonna grow back so don't feel all down and still because your baby ball head it's gonna be okay but y'all i'm hot and i'm ready to get back home edit these videos this is the end of this video i hope it was very informational I love you guys. I appreciate you guys so much. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I love you. Mwah.